Hello Art4, this is Professor Jones. I'm going to go over the course navigation and I'm also going to talk about the first learning unit. This is your home page. I'll be constantly updating the home page. So pretty much um, every week, every Monday, you'll come to a new video, information about the learning unit, but it's a way that I'll communicate with you. Also, if you need to borrow a Chromebook, Merit's offering some great stuff. So you can click on this link and it will take you to the page that Merit's created to learn more about the loan program if you're needing any assistance. So I encourage you to check that out. Uh, the weekly modules will continue to grow. Right now I only have module one available, which I'll go over in a second. Um, the enrollment was a little low for this class, so I wanted to make sure that we had enough students before I spent a ton of time building out the whole course. But it looks like it's a go, so um, this will increase over the next week. This is my Peralta email, and my office hours will be virtually through Zoom on Mondays from 11 to 12. They are not required. It's if you want to meet me and ask questions or I can share my screen with you, things like that. And this is the Zoom link, which would open up and you should be able to just join without any kind of password, but keep me posted with any questions. The best way to communicate with me is via Canvas and the inbox. So if you click on, my screen might look a little different than yours because I'm in instructor mode. It's the only way I can really navigate freely. So if you click on the inbox, it's going to open up something that looks similar to this, and you can go ahead and compose a new message. You'd want to select the class that we're in, which is Art 4. And then you could just type in my name, Diane Jones. It should come up. You can title your message. I'm just going to say test. And then you can type whatever you want and send it to me. And the reason why that's the best way to communicate with me is because I have a lot of different classes. And if you just send me an email via Peralta, um, I might not know what class you're registered in, so then I'm going to need to like email you back, and it's just going to take longer. Whereas if you send me messages via the inbox on Canvas, all that information is embedded in your email. All right, so the home page is going to be a great place for you to check up um, what's going on in the course. Modules are another way to look at the course information. I try to lay the modules out so they're easy for you to navigate and read. Um, each module is already completed, as you can see. I just have to go in and open these and um, change the due dates. These are from summer. So you'll always see an instructor's introduction video, the learning content, the things that you'll need to read and navigate, and then the homework assignments. And I'll be going over module number one in just a moment. There's a few announcements that are already here, how to embed images in your discussion post. That's going to be an important task that you do weekly, so be sure to know how to do that. There's a video here and a couple of links on Canvas. There's also um, an announcement about how you're going to be required to have PowerPoint. And this link should take you to a website where you can get the application for free. You just need to have your merit information available to you. You can review the syllabus, which is going to go over the topics that we'll be talking about. This is a modern art history class, so you're going to be introduced to a lot of really great contemporary artists. The grading, it's important to consider the Student Accessibility Center if you need any tutoring or any assistance. There's a lot of great accommodations, and again, there's a link to their website. Um, you'll want to check your grades regularly to make sure that you're getting a grade that is what you're hoping for and that you're not missing any assignments. The library is also offering lots of services, so you're going to want to check out what's going on at the Merit Library. There's online tutoring. This is a Merit tutoring program. Office 365 is where... Um, you can also get access to Word and PowerPoint, so if for some reason you don't want to download your own copy of PowerPoint, you should be able to access any of the lectures and information through here. And then I left the files available for you because I, I think you might need that to be able to embed your images. Let's go back to the home page. 
if you as the modules unfold when you click on a module it will take you to the first page of that module and I really encourage you to use the modules almost as if they were a book unfolding so here's my course policies um, I just went over all that information you can read the of uh, the late work policy you need to email me uh, at least eight hours before the assignments too so we can come up with a plan um, and I would prefer obviously if you didn't copy and cut and paste from the websites that you research be sure to put everything in your own words and ideas course navigation this is what you're listening to now so I put together my expectations for the discussion posts um, you can this is a video where I talk about you know how to respond to discussion post if you're not familiar with that process my grading rubric and this is just um, it's called netiquette and it's kind of like my way of giving you some guidelines to make sure that we are all respecting each other and letting each other be the individuals that we are here's some um, more information about embedding images this is the same video um, with a couple more links if you want to peruse that information. I created a classroom cafe if you guys want to ever um, get together, you know, outside of sort of the course material, even though obviously it's in the modules. Um, but it's here for you if you want to socialize with your classmates. So this is starting um, the actual first learning unit. It's all part of Module 1. So we've just entered the learning content for Module 1. So you're always going to want to review the text where I kind of go over some of the basic information that we'll be covering in this course. And then I want you to watch this great five-minute video about art and society. More really interesting information about why looking at, why looking at art is important and a short video where different people talk about their ideas around why looking at art is an important part of our experience and to better understand the concept of cultural context. So here we are at the overviews of, and the activities. Um, this is, every learning unit has an overview of activities page where I'll talk about the homework requirements and like what's going to be the main topics covered. Every week you're going to have a PDF that you'll want to download. So this is the first week's PDF that you're going to want to read and review. It's important that you review this information for you to be able to use the language in the discussion posts and also to be able to answer the questions that are in the weekly quiz. So be sure to review all of the information in the PDF. There's always going to be a short weekly quiz, so um, you can go through and they're going to be multiple choice and respond to the answers for the quiz. And also on the overview of activities page, you'll see the homework that's due. So these are quick links to the homework. Um, I'm not going to click on them right now because I'm, we're going to go over that in a minute. But there will always be the deadline available and you can just click on this and it would take you to the homework page. It will also tell you a lot of the discussion posts, there's a requirement for how many of your classmates posts you have to respond to. So that will also always be on this page. And then there will always be a listen and review area as well. So this will usually tell you and take you to a page, which will be for this week's, and that didn't work. Um, okay, so I'll fix that. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm already deep into this video, so I am not going to start over. I'm just going to go to the modules, and it's because I changed the name to watch instructor's video, and I didn't reconnect it. So this is what that page looks like and there's a YouTube video that you will watch. It's 24 minutes long where I go into the details about this concept of visual analysis, which is what you're learning about in this first learning unit. Here's a PDF of that lecture. So you can go through the PDF. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to go so fast. 
You can go through the PDF at a slower pace than my lecture. If you want to review some of the videos that I might reference um, that would be helpful for you to understand the information. And it also gives you the opportunity to look at the artwork slower and to revisit any of the artists that I'm referring to that you might want to learn more about for either another homework assignment or possibly even for this homework assignment. So that's what the um, lecture page will look like. So let me just go back. We were on the overview page. So as you can see, um, hopefully all these links will usually work. Um, I am a human being, so if you ever come across um, a link that's not working, let me know so I can fix it right away. So just navigating through, this is the required lecture. This is the visual analysis defined, so you'll hear me talking a lot about this in that lecture. But here's the four types of investigation defined. This is the first homework project. So all of your homework projects will have some sort of a homework details video um, and then the prompts that are required for that homework. So I've started this already and responding to these prompts, which you can just cut and paste and then put into your reply. I've added some videos, which you can easily do with the rich content editor. So I talk about that in the um, video that is on, if you're curious, that is under um, discussion post and participation and expectation. So you can watch this video if you want to learn about different ways to embed information in your videos, uh, in your discussion posts. Sorry, so we're here. Um, yeah, so I've already kind of shown you, I've put a bunch of cool videos in and it's fun to do something like this because you are going to need to respond to two of your classmates posts and so giving them stuff to look at might be kind of fun. This is the same uh, required video, I just placed it on the homework page as well and you're also going to want to watch this four minute video. This is a PDF where I talk about all of the information that's required but for me, I like to listen and read, so you can do that at the same time. This is the video about how to embed images because you're going to need to make your own artwork for this first homework project. And you can make a photograph with your phone or a camera. You can do a drawing. You can do a sculpture. You can do whatever you want that's a visual response to the work of Mark Rothko. So be sure to... Um, Review all this information. If you have any questions, let me know. And then finally, the uh, weekly quiz. So I think that kind of covers the basic information as far as like how to navigate this course and the first learning unit. So keep me posted with any questions. Thanks.